Yeah, that's right, Corey. Yeah, a lot of folks are going to be surprised to see so many names on the uh, the ballot for both Republicans and for Democrats. Let's take a look at a sample ballot here, which you're actually going to see whenever you head to the polls. Obviously, that proposition there in Tulsa County, Creek County, Washington, uh, and Muskogee County about the liquor sales on Sundays. But here's a, t a look at the Democratic ballot. And wow, look at all of these names that are on there. I've highlighted the ones that are still in the running who haven't suspended their com campaigns, but you'll still see names like Marianne Williamson. You remember her, Julian Castro, Andrew Yang, Pete Buttigieg, and Amy Klobuchar, who had just dropped out over the past two days. So we still have Elizabeth Warren, Mike Bloomberg, Tulsi Gabbard, who hasn't really been in the spotlight. She's kind of been pulling far behind Bernie Sanders and of course, Joe Biden. But you are going to see all these other names. They will be counted like any other vote and any other uh, vote that is cast, rather, um, but the, the likelihood that they bump up to the number one spot is pretty unlikely, but you can still vote for these other candidates as they are still on the ballot and they did qualify. Taking a look at the Republican ballot, though, we obviously still have that proposition there, but we do have President Donald Trump on the ballot as well, but you see here a lot of other names as well. So obviously probably the clear front runner will be President Trump, but there are a number of other Republicans who did qualify. So that's just a glimpse of what you're going to see whenever you're heading to the polls. Again, they do open at 7. We do have these sample ballots over on our website, kgrh.com, if you do need another reference there before you head out. So that way you're better informed. Corey, I'll send it back to you.